my name is Katie Sainors with Sainors Wealth Management. In this video, we're going to learn how to invest your first $5,000 in the stock market. We're going to talk about brokerage accounts, individual stocks, ETFs, and robo-advisors. Let's get going. First step, you will need to open a brokerage account with one of the brokerage companies. There are multiple brokerage companies available. They are wonderful for online services. You can see the table here. Pick one that you're going to be using. They have different platforms, but they're all great brokerage companies. If you would like to follow along with my notes, you can go to Google and type in sanors.com. You will find Sainoris Wealth Management. Click on it. At the top right corner, you will see YouTube screens. Tap on that. Click on how to invest 5000 And you are there. You can follow my notes as we go. Let's see our three investment methods. First one, buy an individual stock. Second, buy an ETF. And third one, use a robo-advisor. In this video, we're talking about investing. You put your money in the stock market and let it grow over long term versus trading when you're buying and selling stocks, options, futures, commodities, or cryptocurrencies to make advantage of events in the market. This video is specifically about investing. Individual stocks are basically a type of security that gives you a share of ownership in the company. They also often called equities. Investing in individual securities is great for people if you have time to do your research and it's best suited for you to self investors. Choose from the industry that you know well or you have some interest in. Say, for example, you're a pet lover like me and you know company Chewy. You buy from this company, you follow it, you're interested. Let's look at the chart. You can use Yahoo Finance to do the research, the specific company you're planning on buying. It has a wide variety of information from company outlook, charts, statistics, any financial analysis. Plus, they'll have some recommendations as far as purchasing a specific company. Or maybe you're a gamer or you're into graphic design and you know a lot of about NVIDIA cards. You can purchase NVIDIA stock and also using the same Yahoo Finance or any other resource for research of a dual stock, you can use that website. So my recommendations will be buy a stock that you're interested in, buy a little at a time. You don't have to invest all of your available amount right away and review your account just a few times a year since you're investing, you're not trading. Of course, there will be positive and negative points about investing in individual stocks. Pros will be you can control your own portfolio. You can buy any company that you like. Your choice is unlimited. It's really easy for you to buy and sell. It's just a click of a button on your cell phone, on your iPad, or in your computer. It's much easier for you to understand taxes that you're going to owe by investing in just individual stocks versus, say, mutual funds. There are also some disadvantages on investing in individual stocks. It could be really risky if you're investing in only one stock or maybe two. It's not enough to diversify. It takes a long time to do research. If you don't have time for that, that could be tricky. With individual stocks, it's hard to achieve diversification. Basically, you're putting all your eggs in one basket, but you can watch the basket. And you're going to have an emotional factor. It will be ups and downs. You can get really nervous watching something go up and down. So be aware of that. Websites that you can go to get your research done, get your market news and information on your stocks. You can use Yahoo Finance, as I said earlier. Market Watch is another good one. And also MSN Money 
is a really popular choice for your market information and for stock research. Take your pick, or maybe you have another website that you're like, use that. Next, let's talk about ETFs, exchange traded funds. Think of it as a basket of different securities. ETFs are a really good choice for beginner investors because you can play with the market with much less risk than individual stocks because you will be diversified. You can invest in different sectors, foreign sectors, commodities, currencies, bonds. I have a list of type of ETFs. Let's just uh, quickly look at a few of them. You have broad market ETF. That will be your SPY, S&P 500. This ETF tracks the results and performance of the S&P 500 index. Also, broad market ETFs will be Triple Q's, that's your NASDAQ 100, and RUT, Russell 2000. Also, ETF could be broken down into country specifics, like emerging markets will be uh, India or China. Commodities, that will be your gold or oil. Sectors, it's sector specific, like uh, semiconductors or if you environmentally cautious, maybe you'll look into clean in energy ETFs. That's another interesting one. Currencies ETFs. Style based will be your growth companies. That's basically increase in capital value rather than yield over time. Bond ETFs. So that will be iShares bond ETF. Of course, like stocks, ETFs have advantages and disadvantages. Advantages of ETFs, they're liquid, same as stocks. You can buy or sell ETFs at any time during the trading day. ETFs carry much lower fees and costs than mutual funds. Transparency. ETF holdings are disclosed regular and on a frequent basis updated. So you will know what you're investing in. They're tax efficient. Also, they're flexible, which means that you can do anything with ETFs that you can do with regular stocks. You can write options against them, you can short them or buy them on margin, for example. The negative side of ETFs is lack of rebalancing. Most ETFs don't rebalance their portfolios. Another item is spreads. So. The spread is the difference between the price you pay for the purchase security and the price at which you can sell it. Some ETFs have really large spreads, so it will affect your cost. Let's get back to our home screen and talk about our third option, robo-advisors, an online platform that manages your investments automatically for you. It's financial advice that doesn't come from a human. It comes from a specific algorithm. And if you go to our RoboAdvisors section, RoboAdvisors write for you that will be hands-off investors. Person who don't want to get involved into managing their brokerage accounts and trading themselves. If you don't have enough time, that will be a great option for you. Also, it's a wonderful choice for new investors because you're not as knowledgeable investing at this point. Also, if you have tax concerns and you don't like fees, robo-advisors are really economical as far as fees. One of the big ones is Voltfront. Fees is a one quarter management fee of your account balance. An account minimum is $500. They have automatic rebalancing, low ETF expense ratio, that is great. The negative thing, they don't offer a large balance discount. If you're looking for a great robo-advisor with lowest fees, that will be a great option for you. Betterment as next one, which is really large, very popular robo-advisor. They do not have account minimum as Wealthfront. They charge the same management fee and they have goals that you can set. You can buy fractional shares and get all your cash invested. 
the only negative thing they don't do direct indexing. It's a wonderful choice for beginners since you don't have a minimum account balance. There are multiple other robo-advisors that you can look into and you should consider. I have them listed on my reference page. One of the interesting one is Elevest. It's actually a financial company that is for women and created by women. Another one, Acorns, you probably heard of that one. You can click on any of these and they will bring you to the official web page of that robo-advisor. Robo-advisors will get you through questionnaire where you set your goals, your expectations, your risk level, and they will create a portfolio for you and also will manage it. These are three wonderful choices. Any of them is great in their own way. Individual stocks, ETFs, and robo-advisors. You can always come back to this web page for reference or if you need to look up some brokerage companies or robo-advisors. Happy investing. Thank you for watching. Bye.